girls, it's Miss Jenny, back to do another story time today. Thanks so much for stopping by to share a story time with me. Let's start off by saying hello to all our friends out there. Okay, here we go. Hello everybody, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody, how are you? How are you today? Hello everybody, touch your head, touch your head, touch your head. Hello everybody, touch your head, touch your head with me. Hello everybody, tap your shoulders, tap your shoulders, tap your shoulders. Hello everybody, tap your shoulders, tap your shoulders with me. Hello everybody, pat your knees, pat your knees, pat your knees. Hello everybody, pat your knees, pat your knees with me. Hello everybody, reach for your feet, reach for your feet, reach for your feet. Hello everybody, reach for your feet and have a seat with me. Hey guys, guess what this weekend? It was beautiful. Did you enjoy the sunshine this weekend and get outside? Well, you know what? This weekend, my husband and I got to work in our garden. And when we were working in our garden, oh, look what we saw. Let me see if you can see this. I'm gonna get real close. Can you see it? Can you see it? Do you know what it is? It's a frog. It was a teeny tiny frog, and this frog made the loudest sounds. It was amazing. So today I decided for story time, I was going to do a frog story time, and I'm going to read you one of my favorite stories about a frog titled The Wide Mouth Frog by Keith Faulkner, illustrated by Jonathan Lambert. Oh, this wide mouth frog. He loves to go and see friends and brag about what he does. Let's read and find out who he sees. By the way, before I start, I forgot. I need help in this story. Okay, so in this story, there's a bird, and birds have beaks, and they do this, right? So can you do this with your hands right now? Good. And there's a mouse in the story, and mouses like to twitch your nose and wiggle their whiskers. Can you do this with me? Okay, when I get to that part, do that, okay? And then there's an alligator in the story. So, alligators do this. Snap, snap. So we get to that part of the story. Can you do this with your arms? Snap, snap. Okay, ready? All right, I need your help. Here we go. Ready? The wide mouth frog. I'm the wide mouth frog, said the wide mouth frog shooting out his long, sticky tongue. As he hopped along, he met a blue feathered bird. I'm a wide mouth frog. I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. What do you eat, bird? I eat wiggly worms and slugs, replied the bird, snapping his pointy beak. Are you snapping your beak? Next, the wide mouth frog met a brown furry brown mouse. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. Do you eat mouse? I eat crunchy seeds and juicy berries, replied the little mouse, wiggling her whiskers. Are you twitching your nose and wiggling your little whiskers? The wide mouth frog was still catching flies when he saw a big green alligator. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. What do you eat, alligator? Mm, I eat delicious wide mouth frogs, replied the alligator, showing his sharp white teeth. Frog stopped catching flies and he gulped. Mm -hmm. Then he puckered up his lips and he made his lips as small as possible and said, Well, you don't see many of those around here, do you? And with that, he leaped into 
the pond with a big splash. Oh, that wide mouth frog wasn't so wide mouth after he saw that alligator, was he? Hey guys, remember that song? Let me show you and I bet you're gonna remember. It all starts off with a speckled log and some speckled frogs. Let's count how many on this log. One, two, three, four, five. Can you show me five on your hand? Five speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log and they're going to jump into a pond where it's nice and cool. Okay, can you say frog? Frog. Can you say log? They sound alike, don't they? So this is a rhyming song. Can you say pool? Can you say cool? They sound alike too. So those are two more rhyming words that are going to be in our song. And I think you guys remember this song because we do it in story time quite often. So get out your log, get out your frogs, and let's start to sing our song. Ready? Here we go. Five little freckled frogs sitting on a freckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three speckled logs. I said freckled, it's speckled. I'm sorry, guys. But you know what? Speckled sounds like freckled, doesn't it? Another rhyming word set. Okay, here we go. We're going to say speckled. Four little speckled logs. Frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three speckled frogs. Three little speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two speckled frogs, two little speckled frogs, sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one speckled frog, one little speckled frog, sitting on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum! He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Good job, boys and girls. You know what, today, maybe you can play a rhyming game. Maybe you can think of all the different words you can think of that sound like frog, like log, bog, sob. You can even make up nonsense words or words that really aren't words that sound like that. Or maybe all the different words you can think of that sound like cool or pool, bull, roll. See how many you can come up with. Maybe you can play that little game with someone. You say the word and then they say a word that rhymes with it. See how many times you can go back and forth and do that. But right now, boys and girls, it's that time. Wave high. Wave low. I think it's time we've got to go. Wiggle your fingertips. Wink your eyes and blow a kiss and wave goodbye. Until next time, boys and girls, have a great day.